Hello friends and welcome to NAC Graphics. We are going to learn 11 basic things you need to know before using Illustrator. And in this video, we are going to learn about the interface. After you create a new document with desired number of artboards, you enter inside the Illustrator to start working. And here's what you see when you enter into it. Now you can see a lot of things around and all things together is called interface which means the platform on which you will work just in case you want to change the appearance of the interface and also want to change some basic things in the interface you will do it in the preferences setting go to the edit menu and preferences and select user interface and you will end up with this dialog box the first thing is the brightness. You have four preset options for the brightness of the interface and you also have brightness scale when you want your own taste of brightness by setting any percent value. Any change you made here is dynamic which means you see the change happening live on the background like what I am doing right now. The next thing is the canvas color. The first option is for having the canvas with a bit lighter contrast as compared to the interface brightness. The second option will make your canvas completely white and you can also see the difference live. The third option is the auto collapse iconic panels and I will explain this option in the next video when we will be discussing the topic of workspace. The next option is the open documents as tab. If this option is ticked, every new document you open will be opened as a tab. Let me show you with an example. Here I have created two new documents. And notice they all appear stacked as tab. However, if this option is unticked, then every document will be opened as a flooring window and not as a stack tab. Just like this. However, you can always change a tab into a flooring window and change a flooring window to a tab. Just click and drag down the tab to make it an independent flooring window. And if you want to change a flooring window to a tab, click and hold the title bar of the flooring window and drag it to the line just below the line of control panel. When you will hover over that line while dragging, a blue line will appear to indicate that you can drop the window to make it a tab. The next thing, which is a new thing in Adobe's Illustrator 2015 CC edition, is that if you are having a high PPI display monitors, that Illustrator will scale up the interface for better viewing experience. What this option say is self-explanatory. Just click this info button. Illustrator only supports 100%, 150%, 200% scaling of user interface. But if your operating system level scaling is set to 125%, then what should Illustrator do? This option will scale down the Illustrator to lower level, that is the 100%, and this option will scale up the Illustrator to 150%. The last thing here is the scroll buttons. Illustrator provides you a horizontal as well as vertical scrolling options. Notice in the corners of these bars, you have arrow buttons to move the scroll with the mouse click. At this position, they are located at the corners because at the corners option is chosen. If you change the option to together, then these buttons will come down and join. Anything regarding this will be active only after restarting the Illustrator. Now let me show you how it will look like. So I have restarted the Illustrator and here it is. And I find it very easy way of working as you don't need to travel the mouse pointer up and down or right and left for scrolling. So this was all you need to know about the interface. And in the next video, we will be discussing the topic of workspace. Thanks for watching Nag Graphics and you stay tuned.